So, thousands of years ago, right, our ancestors, like your great, great, great grandparents, and similarly with most of the animal kingdom, our ancestors had a way of living, a way of doing things. What's up, coach? Right, so in order to survive, in, what's up, D-Quick? In order to live, you had to eat. What's up, Big Mike? You had to eat. And so some of the villagers, some of the tribe, some of the people, our ancestors, some of the men had to go out and hunt and kill and get food, right? Or conquer, right? To, to expand the, the region that we live in, right? Some of the men had to go out and do that. Right? Some of the women in these same villages, in these same communities of our ancestors, some of the women had to go out and gather food in order for the rest of the village to live, in order for the rest of the community that you lived in to survive. Some men had to go out and kill and hunt. Some women had to go out and gather. Right, But you know what? Some men got to stay back. Right, so not all the men went out. Right, some women got to stay back and collect. Right now, now their their job was also important. Right, the men had to watch over the women and the children who stayed behind. The women had to comfort and take care of the children who stayed behind, to watch over whatever valuable things they had: food, shelter, clothing. Right, but there was there was a division. There was a division of, of 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 people. Those who went out and and made sure that this village could flourish and thrive. Those who went out and hunted and 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 took care of business in order for those who stayed behind to eat. And those women who went out and gathered in order for those who stayed behind to eat. Right now, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm not saying there's good or bad. I'm saying that that's how the history of mankind, of all of all animals, has has thrived, has existed. There are some who go out and provide and risk life and limb in order to make sure those who stay behind have enough right nutrients, enough fuel, enough things to survive. Right, so. I present to you guys that it's not much different today, right? So those, those, I'm, I'm back, come back, guys. I've been gone for a while. Uh, I've been, I've been trying to manage my summer schedule. Quite frankly, I've been kind of, kind of tired and, 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 and stepping back and not doing what I need to do, right? Not doing the things that are going to get me better, right? Not living up to what this message here is about. So today's way of living is the same exact shift and division of people as it was thousands of years ago, right? So my question to you is, is, is who are you? Are you one of the guys or girls, men or women, who went out and risked, risked, took, risked life and limb, risked what they had in order to hunt and gather and get what they needed to bring back to the village so that those who stayed behind could live? And thrive and be nourished and be protected. Right? Again, there's no good or bad. It's just we're different. Right? There are those who are willing to risk uh, 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 falling behind or, 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 or being hurt or being killed in order to thrive. And those who are willing to just stay behind and take what those bring back. And so who are you? What kind of person are you? In life, are you one of those people that know deep in your heart that you have more inside of you, that you are more inside of you, and are willing to risk and go hunt for what you know you need to be, for what you know you are inside, or are you somebody content with accepting whatever they bring back to you? Right? I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm I'm, I'm asking you: Are you are you somebody who is willing to risk? embarrassment, who is willing to risk failure, who is willing to risk life, really, to be great, 
so that your children can be proud of you, so that your husband or wife can be proud of you, so that you can teach people behind you what it is to go after what you want to be in life? Or are you somebody okay with where you are in life and willing to accept what somebody else is doing to be great? Right? Are you are you willing to go Monday to Friday at a job you don't really like because it's okay and comfortable? Meanwhile, the guy who signs your check is willing to risk and go out and hunt for what he wants to be in life. Are you somebody who's willing to kind of be okay with how you look and feel and go through the motions, right? Diet here, diet there, exercise here, exercise there. Meanwhile, somebody who's willing to sacrifice and go after what they want is out there hunting for it, right? There's two types of people in this world, in this life, right? And I would argue that all of us have the hunter, the gatherer inside of us, all of us, right? We descended from people who did that. Like my great, great, great grandparents did that. Your great, 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 great grandparents did that. We don't come from average. We don't come from from slackers. We come from proud, tough-ass people, all of us. And yet now we are willing, many of us are willing to accept and take whatever life gives to us because it's comfortable, because we're okay with it, because it doesn't hurt. Because if you were hungry and starving, you would hunt, but you're not. If you were fearful and in danger, you would fight, but you're not. Right? Because you're not hungry, you're not starving, you're not fearful, you're not in danger, you don't hunt anymore. You're willing to accept whatever life gives to you. Right? And I'm asking you, I'm pleading you, I know inside of you, you know you can do more. Right? You know you can, you can do more. There are people in your village, in your life, in your community who have picked up a spear and gone out to go after what they want in life. Right, G-Walk? They, 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 they've taken the spear of life and decided, I'm one of the people in this village that are going to go out for what I want. Give me a spear. Give me a shield. I'm going to go out and fight and attack and slay what I want to be in life. And then some of us, including me sometimes, some of us are willing to sit back and accept whatever they bring back to us. Whatever that boss brings back to us, whatever that husband or wife brings back to us, whatever the, the, this workout brings back to us, instead of taking the bull by his horns and going out and getting what we want. I'm tired of that. I ain't built that way. right? I wasn't built that way in sports. I wasn't built that way in my finance career. And by, and by God, I'm, I'm trying to be the same way in my speaking career. Is it scary? It is scary. Is it easy to go through the week and be okay? Well, I'm not poor. I'm okay. I'm in pretty good shape. I could take where I'm at. I've, I've had a pretty good life. No. I'm not going to accept while other people go out and hunt. And I watch them on Instagram or Facebook. I'm not going to accept that anymore. I want to be a hunter. I want to be a gatherer. I want to go out and get what I want in life. And you should too. I know you do. You all do. I see your storylines. I see your... We have inside of us a hunter-gatherer, right, Carlton, right, Tisa, right, Jen? We have inside of this, this hunter, and instead we've chosen to let somebody else hunt while we sit here and watch the children and watch the other women. And then when they come back and get all the accolades and all the praise that we wish we could have, that we know we could have had, right? Because at the end of the day, our ancestors, the ones who went out and hunted, they didn't have more Physically, than other people did, the other guys did. They didn't get more out of it, more assets out of it. They might have got less. They killed and brought it back and shared. But, but the triumph they, they experienced, the praise and the pride they experienced, insurmountable, un immeasurable. That's what we're after. That's why we're all lost. It's that feeling of knowing that you're one of the people that have decided to go out and hunt and provide for the rest of them, for your family, for your wife, for your husband, for your children, for, for the next generation. You've decided to go out and hunt and show them how proud and, and, and passionate you are, how, how, how tough you are. Right? You can't put a price on that. I'm telling you, you cannot put a price on that. Winning a championship, the ring and, 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 and what's, what's good It's the fact that you won a championship that feels good. The ring is irrelevant. 
right? Winning the, 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 the trophy is the prize. The trophy itself is not. So when you go out and you hunt and you, and you go after what you want and you bring back that tiger that you killed or the elephant you killed, that's the pride part. At that point, you'll share all of it with everybody. Right? And the guy who sits there while, while, while the hunter comes back and enjoys and partakes in the prize, he nourishes the same way the, 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 the guy who went out nourishes it. The same food, the same prize, except he didn't kill it. It don't feel the same. You're both eating the same deer or the same elephant, but you didn't kill it. He killed it, and it feels different. And I know you want that in your life. I know you do. I want it in my life. And we all can do that. We, we all can put on uh, the shield and grab the spear and go out there and slay our dreams, our goals. We can all do that. But most of us choose instead the easier route. Because it's safer. It's more comfortable. It's less scary. There's no risk. But I'm telling you, the risk that that attacker that 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 quest is the risk is 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 minuscule compared to the reward the reward is 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 amazing and you know it you know it's amazing that's why you still want to be thin you still want to achieve that degree you still want to build that business you still want to start that whatever it is that's why you still want it because you know the risk is minuscule compared to the reward but we build up the risk, right? We let that risk dictate what we do in life. We let that risk talk to us. I have a saying in my boot camps, the same voice you have about whatever you're trying to do, I have the same voice. We all have the same voice. The difference is those who, those who are great in what they do, those who go out there and slay their, their, their dreams, that slay their goals, they have conquered that voice. Right? They were afraid, but they went anyway. And now they come back, and we wish we had done that. We wish we had went out there like they did. Well, let's do it. Let's go out there. Let's go hunt. Let's go hunt and stop waiting for somebody else to hunt and bring us back whatever they bring back. Let's go be great at fitness. Let's go be great in our marriage. Let's go be great in our bond with our children. Let's go be great in our business. Let's go be great in school. Let's go be great. Is it easy to sit back and just like not risk and, and get your B's in your classes and make a little bit of money and get a little bonus here and there and have a decent relationship with your husband or wife and your kids? That's easy. No risk, no fear. But when you come back with that deer over your shoulder and you've conquered there's nothing like that. Nothing like it. So I want you guys to, to keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, right? Are you going to be somebody who continues to let the hunters, the gatherers go out there, right? And be great and watch him on Instagram. Thanks, Carlton. Love you, buddy. And watch him on Facebook. And watch him or her start a business. And watch him or her lose 30 pounds. And watch him or her build a bond with, the, with his daughter or his, or her son. Watch him or her have a great marriage. Watch him or her you know, be, be, be a top in, their sales, in sales in their, in their company. Watch all these guys do this stuff because they were willing to go out there and risk it. While you sit here doing okay, not starving, not in fear, not hungry, not in danger, but also not feeling what it feels like to come back with that triumph. I want that. I want to be a hunter in my life. I want to be a gatherer. I want to go out and, and bring back victory. Even if it means I might come back cut up and slashed and hurt and crying. I'd much rather do that than wait here and watch somebody else come back and get the triumph that I know I could have had, that I know you can have, that I know we can have. All right, so go out and hunt. Don't wait. Go out and hunt. Don't wait.